Hey there, and welcome to module eight, our final module. So in this module, amplifying your impact, we're gonna talk about taking what's already working in what you're doing and taking that to the next level and exactly how you go about doing that in a practical way that's not gonna burn you out, that feeds on your vision of where you want to be and does it in the optimal way without necessarily working harder, but working smarter. So let's dive in. First of all, I wanna talk about exactly what I mean by amplification. So amplification means looking back at your launch, that first launch that you've done, and looking at what worked and what didn't work in fairly close detail because it's the numbers that tell us the truth of exactly where things can be tweaked to improve and amplify or can be cut out or added to. Amplification is not about going off and doing something totally new. It's about taking what's already working and adding fuel to that fire so that things grow. So this module really could have been called the focus module. So I want you to focus in really tightly on what's already working and then envision how you're gonna grow that for the future. So it's all about optimizing. Optimizing your artwork, optimizing your um, process, and optimizing your mindset. So let's think about mindset for just a minute. One of the things that happens after you have gone through a process and created a body of work and launched it out into the world is a lot of times Doubting Thomas can start talking or Doubting Gertrude or Gladys, if that's the name you want to use for that, that little monkey mind voice that starts talking up and telling you that what you just did really wasn't good enough. Maybe it didn't even go that well. But that, and so that monkey mind starts chattering a lot faster. Maybe it's in the way we define how it went, and we need to look back at that. All too often, what really is at the root problem, or is at the root cause of that doubting Thomas, doubting Gladys syndrome, is this idea that you've got to be perfect. That if it's not perfect, you need to not even bother doing it. But the truth of the matter is done is better than perfect and you need to start before you're ready. If you started before you're ready in the last module and you got that small launch out there, high five, kudos, and good on you. If you haven't done that yet, don't go any further now. Back up, go back to module seven and go through that process of creating that small launch. You can't amplify until you've already created something. So get that first draft out the door. Um, there is a book called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott, one of my favorite all-time books. And in that book, she talks about the process of creation and the process of writing. And it's so parallel and similar to what we do as visual artists. And she talks about the value of that first draft and of creating a really messy first draft. But the the, also the value of not being overly critical during the process of creating it. So if you haven't created that first launch yet, back up to the previous module, get that launch done, get it out the door. Remember, it does not have to be perfect. Done is better than perfect. Once you have a first draft done, then you can go back and do those other edits. So think about these additional layers of optimizing and amplification as being the second, third, and fourth drafts of what you're gonna do, of what you're doing. But the process happens while you're doing, not thinking about doing. So done is better than perfect. Start before you're ready. Put Doubting Thomas and Doubting Gertrude on the back burner and tell them to go be quiet somewhere. You do need to look at your numbers and analyze them. That's point number two here is that you need to analyze your first launch. But you need to not tell yourself that it was not good enough and so you should just stop. 
So work on that mindset issue first, and let's think about creating a new vision. We're going to talk about that in a lesson um, in this module. So think about what your next vision is, and remember that uh, what got you here to this point of having completed a launch, of having completed a body of work, and really having done some major mindset shifts to get here, those tools, that you, those steps that you've already taken are not necessarily going to be the steps that are going to get you to your next milestone. So be willing and ready to up your game, to amplify your vision. So when we're looking at analyzing that first launch, we're going to talk about what worked and what didn't work. Think about it as a critique of your launch process. And when you do that, it makes a whole lot more sense. You're not going to have to get super, super granular in those numbers, but there are some key numbers we're going to need to look at. And then I want you to think about the ways that you can, after you've examined what's already worked, look at improving upon what's already worked in those later drafts. And we're going to do that by looking at amplifying the volume of traffic. And you do that by growing your email list. So amplifying your list and then amplifying your launches through adding in a mix or maybe even a single direction of other types of launches in addition to the one that you just completed. So those three different types of launches, you can launch to galleries, that's a more traditional route, and you may not have even thought about it as a launch process, but it indeed is. Then what we just completed, which is a self-promotion launch, or a nonprofit launch, which would be looking at grant proposals and residencies and public art. So there are lots of different possibilities out there. And as you amplify and grow your art practice, one of the things you're going to need to do is to add a mix of different types of launches into your menu, your repertoire of your business launches. That's the way you create a solid, sustainable painting practice. So let's dive in.